The grain procurement plan for the Soviet Union for 1932 is a small brochure with several pages which became a death sentence for millions of Ukrainians. From a typical famine in Ukraine in 1932 and 1933, up to 4 million people died. This, for example, is the population of such large modern European capitals as Berlin or Madrid. Historians assure that the Soviet authorities led by Stalin deliberately created a massive famine to suppress the Ukrainian national liberation movement. People's memory preserved this tragedy. At the domestic level, a colossal folklore was created. Sons, such as no cows, no pigs, only studying on the wall, or on the hammer and the sickle, are death and hunger. I myself found and recorded several songs about the Holodomor on the 1st of June. They are tragic, but they were also humorous, because laughter helps to survive this tragedy, this trauma. They cooked us porridge, there is no salt, only water, promised paradise and happiness, but here is grief and trouble. Because of the censorship of the Communist Party, the Holodomor of 1932 and 1933 became to be discussed in Ukraine only in the late 1980s. Then two young cave artists started their work on a large-scale canvas about the atypically created hunger. The triptych created by Yuri and Taras Goncharenko called Genocide 1933 was the first painting about this topic in Ukraine during the USSR. Such was the time, the end of the 80s, when it was simply necessary to say that we are Ukrainians, we have our own history, our own tragedies, there is a struggle for independence. That's why such work was created. The technique turned out to be so original. We had materials from our grandfather's stocks. Our grandfather was a monumental artist. He has preserved smalta. This is a ceramic material from which mosaics are made. And we combined two such techniques, at first glance incompatible, oil painting and smalt mosaic. Ukrainian historian Andriy Ivanets created an author tour that tells about the iconic painting by the Honcharenko brothers. The tour, the canvas of the truth, was presented at the Ukrainian Crisis Media Center in Kiev. Unfortunately, today we are once again experiencing a genocidal war organized by a state centered in Moscow. This situation largely repeats what happened 90 years ago in Ukraine, and there is again a desire to destroy the Ukrainian nation. But the tragic experience of the 1930s, which we have, gives us both a warning of what can happen if we do not protect our freedom and hope. If Ukrainians survived the catastrophe that Moscow made, today we will survive all the more, no matter how difficult it may be. Modern Russia is struggling to hide the Holodomor organized by the Bolsheviks. At the same time, 27 countries recognize the Holodomor as a genocide of the Ukrainian people. Thus, they do not let the tragedy be forgotten and restore historical justice. Reported by Valeria Nekopalova, Oleksandr Khan, UATV News.